three-time grade one winner, Exaggerator, is represented by his first yearlings at the sales this year. And he got off to a strong start at Fasig Tipton's July sale with a Colt selling for $170,000. We sat down with Windstar's Sean Tugel to talk about the son of Curlin and his credentials as a sire. Exaggerator broke his main in his second lifetime start, Santa Anita. Uh, he's got an unbelievable profile where, you know, he's kind of a throwback horse and, and a rough, sturdy horse that made six starts as a two-year-old, multiple graded stakes winner as a two-year-old, graded stakes winner uh, at six and a half furlongs, ran six times as a two-year-old, and then uh, obviously when he turned three, he continued to improve and uh, was one of the elite runners of his crop, being a three-time grade one winner, being by Curlin. He was just one of those great, sturdy, sound horses that showed up at every dance. And he made nine starts as, as a three-year-old in, in nine consecutive months. So uh, he's a horse that not only did he have the talent and the speed as a two-year-old, but he continued to mature and uh, became an elite three-year-old as well. Certainly you see a lot of, uh, a lot of his sire in him. You see a lot of that big, strong, sturdy toughness that uh, Curlin likes to throw. But uh, being out of a vindication mare, he also has a little bit of refinement in him, uh, which is a great compliment to uh, being by Curlin. As far as uh, we've seen out on inspections ourselves and through the inspection teams at, the, at all the uh, auction houses, they're, they're continuing to improve. Uh, they're nice. Uh, framey horses that stand over a lot of ground. They have great limbs on them. And uh, I think he's a horse that's gonna be uh, one of the most talked about horses with first yearlings this year after the sales. He had several performances that uh, definitely stamped him as, as an elite horse. Uh, it takes a superior horse to win three grade ones as a three-year-old. Um, what I liked about him is every time he, he showed up at the races, he, he showed up and he ran hard. Uh, he certainly had to run against some other uh, very nice horses of that crop. It's an, it's an excellent crop, but uh, you know, in the Santa Derby, in the in the Haskell, in the Preakness, he beat other elite horses. Uh, he beat Gunrunner several times. He beat Nyquist in the Haskell. So, you know, um, he showed up and he ran hard. It didn't matter if he was going short or going long. He was always competitive, and uh, I think that's one of his greatest attributes.